Hi, everybody. This is Rick Bailey, president at Northern New Mexico College, coming to you from the beautiful El Rito campus. Today is Tuesday, March 2nd. Thank you, as always, for tuning in to our latest update for our college community. A lot of things to talk about, but I'll try to make it very quick. Uh, first of all, I want to celebrate some incredibly um, exciting news, and that is every year we, we have to submit uh, something called iPads data. It's basically just variables about how the college is performing. And we have we had a real interesting milestone, uh, at least for me personally here. Uh, so I got to the college in November or October of 2016. In those last four and a half years, Northern has more than doubled its graduation rate. Let me let me say that again. We have more than doubled our graduation rate over the last four years. Now, granted, that is, that's, a, that's a variable. It doesn't look at every single student. It's very specific in its data, but I, that tells you something about how dramatically we have made improvements in this area. Now, what, what, what explains this? First of all, the resilience of our students and the, and the amazing work they do, no matter what the obstacles, that they are committed to getting to the finish line. Second, the caliber of our faculty and staff. And by that, I don't mean just their their technical expertise. I mean the fact that they bend over backwards and they care about our students and that is being reflected. So I could not be more proud. I couldn't be more grateful. And obviously you're going to probably be hearing more about that soon. So uh, to take in four and a half years and double your graduation rate is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So congratulations. And the best is yet to come, right? That, that trend continues. Um, we are now doing twice a week vaccinations. Uh, thanks to, uh, I, I will say thank you to our nursing faculty and our nursing students. They are now supplementing the Department of Health personnel who are, who are offering these vaccines. So I believe it's now going to be uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays every week. Again, that is not a walk-in clinic, so you still need to go to the state website to sign up for vaccines, and then they will call you to set the, or reach out to you to set the appointments. Uh, if you need to know where that website is, go to our website at nnmc.edu, and there's a link to that vaccination. I think it's also on both of our marquees on both of our campuses. Um, Northern uh, recently won an award from Quality New Mexico. Uh, we just won the Adobe Award, and I, I couldn't be more proud of our, of our students, faculty, and staff for this. Quality New Mexico looks at institutions who have made progress in strategic planning and strategic development. And so the fact that they have singled us out for this, I think, is, is wonderful. This is the, a step on a, in a process. Uh, so there will be other steps down the road as we continue to refine our strategic direction. Uh, but I'm very, very proud of the work that we've done. So congratulations to everyone at Northern for that amazing award. And, and there will be more uh, details coming out about that. Uh, the next two things, I want to talk about facilities needs and campus beautification. And, you know, at some point, we're going to start to move back and phase back into a more on uh, a physical on campus presence. And and before we do that, I want to make sure that we know everything that still needs to be addressed in terms of facilities. Um, are there. Uh, are there things that need to be touched up? Are there things that need to be repaired? Are, I, we, very soon, you will probably be seeing a request, uh, either a form or a survey or something that you can fill out to tell us, hey, in my office, here are some things that I think need to be addressed. Um, because now is the time in the spring. Now's the time for us to, to, to knock all those things out before we all come back. Um, a compliment to that is good. Those are things that need to be done. And a compliment to that, though, I think, is what are the things that we can do to, to make the campus more beautiful for our students and faculty and staff? What are some things that, we've, um, that we, can, we can endeavor to do to, to create an environment um, that is filled with beauty? And, that, and that's something that all of you deserve. And so uh, we'll be looking for your ideas, your creativity. I do want to say a special thank you to the Sharing Governance Group for, uh, for their brainstorming around this. I think that's a really great idea. And so we'll be looking for your suggestions on, on how to do that. And again, those are things hopefully that we can start to put in place uh, later in the spring. We've been working on communication strategies. How, how do we share more information as a team, not just from the president uh, to, the, to, to the rest of the team, but really how do we share information with each other? And so I want to say a very special thank you to Alejandro Jaramillo and to Sandy Krolik from our Rockstar Communications and Marketing team. And we are announcing the uh, inaugural issue of the Weekly Eagle, which will likely be coming out this month in March. 
And, and it really will be a way for us to share information with each other in a digital newsletter type format. Um, there is a survey that you can fill out that if you have inputs that you want it to, to be included on the newsletter. And I think those, uh, those surveys have to be filled out or that those inputs have to be given by Wednesday noon. And then the, the newsletter will go out the following Monday midday timeframe. So, uh, we're excited about that. That's coming out here very shortly. Uh, check your email if you want more information about that. And then lastly, March is the, as you know, is Women's History Month. And so I want to take a moment to recognize all of the sheroes who make this community such a beautiful place and, and such a remarkable place. And we need to honor their service, not only to our students and our college, but to our community. I, I love this quote from Oprah Winfrey, and I think I think it speaks to, to this time. Uh, she said, Step out of the history that is holding you back and step into the new story you are willing to create. I think that's a, that's a good lesson for all of us. Uh, la lastly, let me, let me say this, and I don't say it enough. Um, it, this has been the greatest honor of my life, and serving the, the chance to serve as, as president of Northern New Mexico College. And I, I don't say it enough, but I don't take that for granted. The, the, the ability to serve our students, faculty, and staff is a blessing and, and one I am for which I am incredibly grateful. So thank you for, for allowing me to serve in this capacity. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very special blessing in my life. I think that's it from all of us at Northern New Mexico College, our students, our faculty, our staff. We say muchísimas gracias. Kundao Woha. God bless you and everyone you love. Thanks for everything you do. And we'll talk to you soon.